Today is the first day of school in Knox County with the federally ordered mask mandate in place. Drop off lines were a little tense this morning. Six on your side, reporter Lexi Spivak and a few of our crew members were at a handful of schools today gauging what was going on. They got a look at how parents, teachers and students have been handling this. The day started with what seemed to be business as usual at Bell Morris Elementary. One mom told us she understands the mandate. When it comes to our kids, I feel like with the vaccines not breaching their ages, I kind of feel like it might be in their best interest and that might be their only um, area of protection. She hopes it sticks around. The kids done really well. Um, they done really well with the six feet distancing, um, so I think it'd be uh, hopefully they let them keep it. Another mom at Bell Morris says for her it's about keeping those who are high risk in her family safe. I have a bunch of people in my family that are, you know, they're immune compromised. Plus, I mean, just any little thing, even though they're not 100% effective and they are very kind of uncomfortable, any little thing to like help keep our children and our families safe. We also stopped by Whittle Springs Middle School and then Halls Middle School. Some parents and students at Halls first gathered at the church parking lot across the street. Then they walked their kids to school as a group. None were wearing masks. They told me they didn't want to comment on the mandate. State Representative Jason Zachary tweeted a quote from Thomas Jefferson this morning, adding that he was, quote, inspired by many this morning who have a courage and boldness to stand on principle.